today's class we are going to learn about circulator okay we have seen several ferrite devices already and this is one of the new kind so this is the most popular ferrite device or you can also call it as multiport waveguide junction which is widely used in a microwave engineering so a circulator is a multiport waveguide junction or a ferrite device which is used for the distribution of the microwave signal okay so here the microwave signal flows from one port to the another port only in a single direction so this circulator is somewhat similar to an isolator where we can observe the direction of a flow or the flow of a microwave signal in a single direction okay similarly here also in a circulator it is an multi port waveguide junction where we will be having several ports and the each port will be allowing the signal to the other port in a single direction okay and there is no restriction on the number of ports there are three port network in a circulator and there is a four port network in a circulator okay and the most commonly used microwave junction circulator or a microwave circulator is a four port one so the diagram what you see here is a four port circulator which has got four ports so port 1 port 2 port 3 and port 4 okay these are the four port circulator which is a microwave junction or a ferrite device which is used for our transmission of the microwave signals right now in here okay now let us assume the signal is transmitting through port 1 okay so the signal which is transmitted or flowing through port 1 will be obviously given as an input to only port 2 okay because as we have already learned that the signal will be flowing in a single direction so whatever the signal coming from port 1 it will be given as an input to port 2 and if at all the signal is coming from port 2 it will be given as an input to port 3 and whatever the signal is coming from port 3 will be fed as an input to port 4 so similarly as port 1 2 3 and 4 are on the clockwise direction the flow of the signal in this particular four port circulator in will be clockwise direction okay so the main purpose of this circulator is for uh flow of microwave signal and the flow of microwave signal will also will be in a single direction so based on this port 1 to port 4 okay whatever the signal is coming through port 1 will be travel through port 2 will be travel through port 2 port 3 port 4 and from port 4 it will again go to port 1 this is how the signal travels in a single direction okay this is how a four port circulator works so a circulator is a multi port waveguide junction or a ferrite device the wave in a circulator will flow from one port to the another port only in a single direction or one direction and there is no restriction on number of ports there are multiple port circulators like three port and four port circulators and the most commonly Used circulator is a four-port microwave circulator. Okay, and we have seen a four-port circulator diagram where the ports are given in a clockwise direction, coming starting from port one to port four. Those if the signal is given through port one, it will be collected at port four in a clockwise direction. Okay, now let's take an example and see how a circulator will work in a real time application okay so this is a four port circulator through which considering this port 1 port 2 port 3 and port 4 four ports are connected in a clockwise direction okay and the port 1 is considered considered as an antenna <coughs> port 2 is considered as a receiver port 3 is considered as an amplification unit and port 4 is considered as transmitter okay so 
generally antenna is used for transmission and reception of the signal so let us assume this port 1 which is connected with an antenna okay is now receiving the signal okay whatever the port 1 as an antenna receives the signal that will be fed to port 2 where port 2 is connected to a receiver now the signal coming from an antenna of port 1 will be received at port 2 to the receiver so this receiver which is located at port 2 receives the signal coming from port 1 and send it to port 3 okay so the signal which is received by the receiver at port 2 will be sent through the port 3 now this port 3 is connected with an amplification unit so the purpose of an amplifier or an amplification unit is to strengthen the signal okay so the whatever the signal is coming from port 2 or a receiver as it reaches the port 3 the signal will be strengthened or the amplification unit strengthen the signal and it will again send that particular signal to the side port which is nothing but port 4 okay if you observe here the signal is moving from port 1 to port 2 and the port 2 to port 3 as well as port 3 to port 4 now the amplified signal has been received at the port 4 where port 4 is connected with the transmitter right now this transmitter transmits the signal to port 1 which is an amplified signal right so here at port 3 the signal has been amplified right so it has been received by the port 4 which is nothing but a transmitter now the transmitter transmits the amplified signal to the port 1 where antenna is located now what does an antenna do whatever the port 4 or a transmitter transmits the signal amplified signal this antenna again transmits that particular signal into a or free space now what's happening here we are using a four port circulator to receive a signal through an antenna and to receive by the receiver that receiver sends the signal to the amplification unit to amplify the signal the amplified signal will be again given to the transmitter and the transmitter is again transmitting the signal into free space using antenna so here transmission and reception of the signal is happening with the help of a farad device or a microwave junction called a four port circulator okay mm -hmm.